हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू अवर डी दीक्षी फॉर फाइनेंस एंड ऑपरेशन मॉड्यूल वाइज ट्रेनिंग सीरीज सो इन दिस न्यू एपिसोड वी डिस्कस अबाउट द मूवमेंट जर्नल अवेलेबल विद इन अवर इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट मॉड्यूल सो इन अवर प्रीवियस एपिसोड वी डिस्कस अबाउट सम ट्रांसफर ऑर्डर प्रोसेसिस सो फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट विथ अवर जर्नल एंट्रीज वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मूवमेंट जर्नल इन्वेंट्री एडजस्टमेंट जर्नल ऑल द जर्नल एंट्रीज वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस एपिसोड so in this episode first we discuss about the what is the movement journal we will discuss about some offset account which will be used in the movement journal lines after this we will complete some prerequisite to create our first movement journal and after completing this prerequisite we will move for the creating one basic movement journal and at the end of this video we will also discuss about some disadvantages of the movement journal and i'll also show you the solutions to overcome these disadvantages so make sure you watch the complete episode to understand the movement journal so let's first start with our movement journal we start with discussing what is the movement journal because specially our most of the subscriber is a beginner in directional finance and operation or any erp system so what is the movement journal and what is the scenario under which we are going to create a movement journal for our business so for answer this question so i think the name movement journal is generally misleading the beginner whenever i said movement journal beginner assuming that the movement journal is used from movement uh, inventory from one warehouse to another warehouse but the movement journal is not mean to that the purpose of movement journal is increasing or decreasing stock in the inventory because we have already seen that the transfer order is used to transfer a stock from one warehouse to another warehouse we will also use the transfer journal we will discuss this transfer journal in our uh, upcoming episodes so where is the movement journal name could be misleading that movement journal is used to adjusting the stock this will write off the stock in the inventory or write in the stock in the inventory which mean that it's increasing the specific inventory or decreasing the specific inventory for your warehouse so this is the main purpose of the movement journal do not confuse with uh, the name of the movement journal so the second answer is what is the scenario under which we create a movement journal because we are also inventory adjustment journal so first we need to understand in which scenario we will creating movement journal instead of creating inventory adjustment journal first let's take an example we have usmf company under which we are selling a lot of electronic items like phones tablets charger now i want to remove some some of our phone from the inventory because we have some marketing campaign near my location so i am sending some of my phone for specific model as a display item for this campaign so in that case i might use the movement journal to remove this 4 to 6 mobiles from my inventory so in this scenario we will use the movement journal to decrease the stock there could be another scenario for some other categories of the business where you provide the sample of some of items to your customer so in such cases also we use the movement journal to deduct the inventory for that item which we provided as a sample to the customer so these two are very good example of when we create a movement journal here we also notice that one more thing in both example is the source of decreasing the inventory is very much known in this case so here one more thing we need to note that we use the movement journal where we know the reason of decreasing the inventory or increasing the inventory so you know the cost of removal of your inventory or adding on your inventory whereas in the inventory adjustment we really don't know about the source of decreasing the stock or increasing the stock of our inventory so we will discuss this later when we discuss about the inventory adjustment later for now we just focus on the movement journal so let's start with our prerequisite before creating the movement journal so let's move to the directify system so to create a movement journal our first prerequisite is we need to create a journal name because if i want to create any movement journal then first step i need to tag the movement journal name let's i'll show you movement journal name i said okay, in the inventory journal journal entries in the first journal entries item we have movement so here as soon as i click on the new button see here is the name of the movement journal which i need to tag when we create a movement journal so let's create our new movement journal name so in order to create a movement journal names we again go to inventory management module let's collapse all under setup we have general names side inventory we select the inventory 
here I need to create a new name for our movement journal so I just click on the new name it as a movement here I name it as a movement journal and journal type select as a movement if we are creating uh, inventory adjustment we will select inventory adjustment transfer counting accordingly we will discuss this all these thing in our upcoming episode so for now I just select a movement and here in the journal name we have multiple parameters like you can see in the first one we have voucher series uh, meaning when you posting the movement journal it will automatically create one financial transaction in the system and every single financial transaction do have the voucher number follows the number sequence in this voucher series so if we are change the voucher series inside this format the voucher name will next created with the movement journal will follow this format so I have already explained about the number of number sequence how you can format or change the number sequence in our previous episode so you can check out that episodes we are not discussing all the th other parameters for now we have uh, next episode in that next episode we will discuss about the all others parameter because our most of viewers are beginner so if they are watching first time about the movement journal or journal entries so I don't want to confuse them we will discuss all the things all the parameters in detail in our next videos so let's first try to understand what is the movement journal and basic of the movement journal so let's we first our journal name is created so now I just save this I'll again move to our movement journal general items in the movement now I'll create one basic movement journal for now so I just click on the new button here in the tag I have selected our new general movement journal here you also have the option of selecting site and warehouse for now I am not selecting any site on warehouse but you can select if you aware about the site and warehouse for which you are increasing or decreasing the inventory so I just click on the OK button so whenever you're creating a movement journal you will see we have only one site and warehouse uh, in the line level because we are creating the movement journal for the transfer journal or transfer order we have two site and warehouse from warehouse or two warehouse if the site and warehouse is not visible to you in the movement journal line you can just simply click on the display dimension button here you select the site and warehouse click on the save setup and click on ok then site and warehouse will be visible to you so let's first check the item for which we have the stock so we will use that particular item in the movement journal so I'll again go to on hand list for on hand list I'll go to inventory management module let's collapse all inquiries and report we have on hand list on hand list we will uh, already discuss on hand list will use to see the all the stock of the available inventory item so you can just save this remove all the filters if you have just click on apply button now they are showing the inventory I have just add the dimension warehouse so I just select site warehouse save this setup click on ok uh, now we check the our warehouse 13 so our surface pro available quantity for the 13 is 410 so we'll use the same item for our movement journals so let's copy this item number in the movement journal I'll add the item number over here so our item is added now in the inventory dimensions in here we select the site and warehouse so we are using 13 so we use 13 as a warehouse you can also select on the line level if we selected on when we create a journal then it will automatically uh, fetch from this temporary form so for now I have not selected any in the form level so that's why I am selecting in the line level for each line so the next one we have added the inventory dimension we have added the item so it's very simple if you want to increase the stock in the quantity level you need to put the positive quantity you want to decrease the stock for the specific item then you need to enter the negative quantities the minus ones is means that it will de deduct the minus one quantity from the 13 warehouse for the item surface pro 120 GB so we have already discussed about the two scenarios when we create a movement journal let's take some one good example which is usually consumed in the internal purpose so let's say you have some goods which is usually consumed for the internal purpose like you are procuring some water bottles premium water bottles that will give to your newly joined employee as a complementary purpose consumption of the bottles for the internal purpose so in that case we are using the inventory adjustment to decreasing the inventory instead of creating the sales order 
because when we create a sales order for internal consumption we need to create a dummy customer you also have to make sure the sales order will be used with the zero cost and also every time when you give the bottle to your newly joined employee you need to create a multiple sales order and also you need to make sure your sales order is invoiced or not so taking care of so many things in the sales order to decrease the stock we use the movement journal because the movement journal is very easy method to manage this scenario and the most popular reason why we use the movement journal is in the inventory opening balance meaning let's say you are the customer which are using the legacy system and moving away from our legacy system to the new erp with microsoft dynamics 365 finance and operation so he will be doing the inventory closing for legacy system and he might be having a closing balance and he will give this closing balance to you in a form of excel and any other form so you go ahead and make it opening balance in our new system for your customer for in microsoft dynamics 365 you have the option you will import all the movement journal through your excel and create a opening balance within the use of this movement journal because the one of the biggest advantage of the movement journal is flexibility which he offers meaning for you have the fully control of your control account like an offset account so every line in the item you add the offset account which ability to control your transactions so here in the particular line item number 100c you can see here is a offset account we need to enter over here so for line 100c you can see that we have ability to enter the offset account for each single line in the movement journal so likewise if you are using the movement journal for consumption of the bottle then you can put the relevant offset account over here in the line level because the consumption of water is not like loss of our inventory so you can mark here offset account which are based on the scenario we are using in the movement journal so this is the big advantages we will provide the flexibility that microsoft provide you to control the offset account so before i go deeper into the offset account first i need to explain what is the offset account because our most of audience is beginner in microsoft dynamics 365 finance and operation so let me give you the basic idea what is our offset account is for let me create a first transaction so as we have already added the item in our movement journal so let's save this click on the validate validate this movement journal so it's showing some message offset account is not specified so okay so i need to first specify the offset account so so for now i have selected the inventory profit and loss for now and again validates this statement so our statement is validated now let's post this statement so it's posted now so posting a movement journal is not always about the posting the physical inventory we have seen there of course uh, it's posting a physical inventory but it's also posting a financial inventory so physical inventory reduce will also reduce your financial side of the inventory and it's also rate get reduced it's actually an inventory account which get credited so inventory account is derived from the inventory account itself so system will automatically refers the posting profile and get the inventory account from the item master so in this example we are decreasing the inventory for the item which is minus 1 then relevant inventory account will be also credited and we know about the accounting so whenever credit posting is happening there is a relevant debit posting is also happening so in that inventory account will be credited with the relevant expense accounts so in this case inventory account will be credited and the relevant expense account tag here in this example as an offset account which actually gets debited in this case so it's an expense account and it's get it debited which meaning then expenses are increasing in the organization and reducing the profit of the organization likewise for the example for we are increasing the inventory stock which means that there will be a debit posted to the inventory account tag within the item master and the relevant offset account which we are assigning in the inventory movement journal gets credited so revenue get increases so the profit of the organization get also increase offset account will be also used for the reporting where in the one single account have both the ability to show the loss and profit will get posted so it's very easy to analyze the losses and profit during the specific period with the using of offset account so this advantages of assigning offset account for the for a specific line we only get in the movement journal so we now we have discuss about the advantages of the 
adjustment journal and also the scenario under which we will get this all the advantages. But there is also some disadvantages of the movement journal. Like normally a movement journal is used for a warehouse person. So warehouse person go and create a movement journal to either increase or decreasing the stock for the particular item using the movement journal. So he may also need to choose the offset account. But as a warehouse person, he may not aware about the what is the offset account, like which account I will be used in the movement journal for specific item. So he may also need to choose an offset account. But as a warehouse person, he may not aware about the actual offset account or right offset account which he need to select. Maybe he will use the some uh, random offset account, and that could be a problem because he might choosing a wrong offset account. and posted it this will financial impact for your organization so to avoid this process of choosing a wrong control account or wrong offset account what we can do is we can restrict the control of the warehouse person so they will not able to post the movement journal they will able to create a line in the movement journal where they can posting will be done by the head of the inventory or supervisor of the inventory warehouse person or warehouse supervisor will manually check the all the offset account in the movement journal and then post the movement journal and the second one is we use the journal name let me go again in the journal name and i'll show you the second solution for this so in the it's collapse all under setups journal names inventory here in the this one is our inventory movement which we have created here we have the option to select or to set the default offset account so whenever the movement journal created with this journal name it will be automatically assign the offset account we will assign a hard code offset account for this movement journal so likewise we can create a new movement journal based on our requirement let's say movement this movement journal we store for the internal consumption so i set it as a consumption okay and save it as a movement consumptions okay so i select the name it as a movement journal only but in the offset account this time i have assigning the movement offset account for the movement journal for this internal consumption as a as a inventory adjustment so let's save this so we again go to movement journal and this time we'll create a journal with this new created movement journal name so i just select the new here i tag the name it as a movement journal consumption so i click on okay so here you can see that our offset account is by default fetch from the inventory journal name so in the warehouse person no need to select any random offset account or any incorrect offset account so whenever they want to create a journal for the internal consumption they select the movement journal uh, internal consumption name or if they want to create a movement journal for different purpose then in that scenario they will create as a movement journal so as i already mentioned the movement journal can be used for different purposes like say movement journal can be used for increasing or decreasing the inventory so in that case they will select the second option and in the first option for the internal consumption we are adding the example of the wa premium water bottle they are giving away for to the employee they will select first option so by using this inventory movement journal name you can overcome this disadvantages of the offset account so likewise we will create a multiple journal names and hard code the offset account so that way whenever warehouse worker create a movement journal next time they no need to select offset account manually this will be assigned automatically from the journal names so in this episode we create a basic movement journal in the movement journal we also have the user access group or user access permission also we'll see all the things in our next video so make sure you stay tuned with us and get the notification of our next episode make sure you subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching